I'm going to move down to the ground, start in a high plank position. We're kind of getting comfortable with that plank and that primal position. So um, actively engaging through those arms, pressing down into the ground. We're going to pull those knees up into our primal position to where we are on our toes. Knees are still up off the ground, still actively engaged in those arms. We'll step right back into that plank, making sure that abdomen is pulled nice and tight. Hips are in line with those shoulders and ankles. And we'll just kind of alternate back and forth between these two positions, holding strong in those arms, in those abs. Just a quick little hold at each point. We're going to go one more time back and forth, back to plank, hold strong. Last time, pull into that primal, and relax. We're going to stay down on the ground there. We're going to move into our lovely DNS star pattern. Uh, so if you're not super familiar with this, you're going to prop yourself up on your elbow. You're going to tuck your knees up, so we're about 90 degrees at that hip, 90 degrees at that knee. So think about this whole lower body like the bottom of your squat um, so we're kind of like sitting back into a squat. So what we're going to do is drive into that elbow, drive into that bottom knee, and we're going to bridge those hips up, drive those hips forward, squeeze those glutes. All right, so kind of like the top of our squat, those hips are fully extended. Then we're going to sit right back into the bottom there. All right, so we're going to do about three for each side here, driving those hips through, squeezing those glutes, Pausing for a second at the top, and return. So if you're very familiar with glute bridges, think about this almost like a sideline glute bridge. So getting that nice, good, straight line from those shoulders to those knees. I'm gonna sit back and we'll go one more time on this side. Big hips go through, and coming on down. We're gonna flip over to the other side, do the same thing. Making sure that we're getting that good setup position with knees and hips 90 degrees. We're going to drive through that elbow through that low knee, push those hips forward, squeeze those glutes, and sit back. Take a quick pause. Up and drive through. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And relax. Two more times on this side. Trying to get those hips to travel a, a long distance. So as they're fully extended here, and we load back, those hips are moving from the kind of back of my mat almost all the way to the front of my mat. Last one here, big drive through, squeeze those glutes, put that tension in there, sit back and relax. All right, let's hop back up to our feet. We're gonna finish our warm up little section with some high kicks, all right? Um, so, opposite hand, opposite foot. We're swinging that leg nice and high. Get those hamstrings nice and stretched out. We're going to do about 8 to 10 on each side. Let's take a little step into it. Kind of get that momentum going forward. But shooting to keep that leg relatively as straight as possible. Getting out nice and high. Last one. And we'll switch to the other side. Stepping into it, big kick up. Some dynamic flexibility here, getting that leg up. Now that we warm those, excuse me, those glutes and hamstrings up, through those squats and those star pattern movements, one more. I have a little bit more range of motion through those hips and hamstrings. All right, let's talk about the game plan for today. We've got two sets of three movements each. We're going to do a little bit of some explosiveness. We've got some cardio work in there, and we've also got some kind of pillar stabilization. So first one, we're coming out of the gate really explosively. We're going to start with some 180 jumps. We can kind of move up to this as we need to. Um, but what we're shooting for is squat jump or the full 180 turn. So first one, I'm just going to warm up with some uh, regular squat jumps. So we're just squatting down, 
pushing off that ground, landing nice and softly. So we're just going to do six of these, squatting down, boom. We can kind of gradually get a little bit deeper, a little bit more explosive. Let's go two more. Focus on again, really landing softly. There. All right, and we're going to do two of these 180 degree jumps. So what it's going to look like is we're going to load down, we're going to explode up, turning all the way around. Um, if we're not quite there at that stage, stick to those squat jumps, or if you're on an upper level you don't want to jump, we can do just explosive uh, squats. Cool. All right, I'm going to do one more of those 180s on the other direction. Ooh, we're going to warm those up as we go. We'll have a couple rounds of this, so don't worry if it's not quite there. All right, moving on to our second movement. It's going to be our cardio focus. We did this one a way a while back. This is what I like to call our hacky sacks. So we're going to take our opposite hand to our opposite heel out in front, and we're going to alternate there. So it's going to be this fun little dance, little jig right here, working a little internal and external rotation of those hips. We always stay nice and light on those toes. 20 seconds here. You can get a little back and forth if you want to. Just getting those heels up. Legs are coming out in front. We're going to go for three, two, one, and relax. Oh, we're getting warm in here already. Our third movement is going to be a lateral plank walk. So make sure you have enough space. I'm going to go into a high plank. I'm going to move one arm, one leg out to the side. Recover with that back half. All right, lead with one side, recover. So we're going to go about four or five each direction. And we're just going to do back and forth twice. Making sure those hips stay nice and level. Don't want to take a huge step. Finish up this last side here. The small controlled movements. And relax. So it should certainly feel that pillar getting nice and active. Um, so again, when we're in that plank position, we don't want to take huge steps across, just a little bit, recover, a little bit, recover, okay? Just I shot that shoulder width apart on those hands. All right, so those are our first three movements. We're going to go back to the top. Now that hopefully nice and warmed up, lungs are ready, legs are ready. We're going to do that full 180 degree jump here. We're going to go four times each direction for a total of eight. So don't focus on going fast. Focus on being explosive, landing with grace, with balance, and stability. All right, let's do it. Nice and softly. Ooh, that's one each. A little better. Ooh. I really find my balance on that side. There we go. There's three, one more each way. And there's four each. All right, quick little break to recover. Um, again, we'll have a couple more, uh, a couple attempts at this. So. We can kind of work that intensity each subsequent round. All right, we're going to move through those hacky sacks. We've got 40 seconds of hitting these hacky sacks. Getting up, get ready, touch those heels, and go. So let's take it into pace. You feel comfortable moving. Doesn't have to be fast. Just looking to be in control. Keeping that posture. Nice and upright, making sure that we're not reaching down. All right, stand tall, get those heels up. 
We got 10 seconds. Moving, moving, moving for three, two, one, and relax. All right, really pulled the mat backwards there. So we're gonna go from that kind of high, high effort, high cardiovascular work, and kind of bring it down to a more stable movement with that lateral walk. So again, back and forth across your space, whether you have a mat or you're just working about five or six feet worth of length. I'm gonna go down and back two times for this one. All right. Get that length through that plank and then start that movement. Again, I'm only moving those hands about six to eight inches each step. So it should be somewhere between five, maybe eight steps for the length of that mat. Trying to hold that pillar that whole time, nice and strong. Keeping those hips level. One more time, coming back. Pushing those arms into the ground. Stable, stable, stable. And relax. Ooh. All right, we're gonna go one more time on these three movements. Gives you a quick break. Last time on these 180 jumps, we're gonna really try to put the height into this one. So we're going as high as can, we're really throwing those arms up, make sure that we're decelerating when we hit that ground, through those abs, through those hamstrings, loading back down for a good soft landing. All right, um, and hopefully you're doing this already, but if you're turning to the left, all right, second movement, you're turning to the right. All right, try not to spin in a circle, it might make you very dizzy, okay? Let's do it, and then we got eight for each direction. Let's get down, let's get down, let's get after it. Focus on exploding up. Each time, nice soft landing. Ooh, two each. So notice we're not going fast, fast, fast on these. Give, your chance, give yourself a chance to kind of reset, regroup, and put everything into it you can. Last one. All right. Ooh, that one also really gets my heart rate up. That kind of effort put into there. All right, we're gonna go back to those hacky sacks. Make sure your heart's ready. Make sure your hips are ready. Hand coordination ready. Three, two, one. Go. So last time on these movements, we're gonna keep that consistency of movement here. Good steady pace. Breathing as we go. We've got 20 seconds. Let's keep those legs going. Nice and tall, good proud chest. Come on. 10. We've got our last five. Last three, two, one, and relax. Oh, I saw always that one. All right, we're gonna move to our lateral plank walks for the last time on this set. We're gonna get down, get stable. Remember, short steps, short steps. Keep those hips and those shoulders square to the ground. Try not to rotate when we reach. All right, stay squared up. All right, let's get out, let's go. Small, stable steps. Remember, one side of the body is moving at the same time. So left hand and left foot moving together. Right hand, right foot moving together. One more time, down and back. Try not to rush. Strong, push it into the ground. Hold that plank. 
Almost there. One more. And rest. All right. We'll take a quick break. Grab some water as you need it. We're going to move into our second set. Three new movements. We're going to do these to start off together. Then we'll kind of work to piece them a little bit more uh, energetic fashion. Okay? So the first one's going to be a bit of a new one. Um, we're going to get down on the ground in that prime position that we worked on in our warm-up. So remember when we went from that plank to that primal position with those knees under those hips. Um, that's going to be kind of the base position that we start with. This is going to be a two-sided kick through with a stand. Okay? So we're going to get in that primal position. We're going to bring that left leg kicking through to the right. You can keep that leg floating or you can bring it to the ground if that's more comfortable. Come back to that base. We'll switch to the other side. Back to that base. Pop those feet up and stand. All right. Now we're just going to reverse that. Hands back down. Hopping back to that primal. And we're ready to go again. All right. Making sure that we come back to that primal each time. Boom. Okay. So we'll finish up. Let's go two more here. Kicking all the way through. Make sure we get good extension through that leg, through that arm. Up and up, stand up. Make sure those glutes come up underneath. And back down for our last time. Try not to kick that mat. And relax. All right, not too bad, not too bad. So, you know, it would be Thursday, full body blast with Matt without a little lateral movement. So we're gonna do our beloved lateral bounds, but we're gonna do these uh, with a little bit different um, we're going to do that with a balance. So it's going to be a triple bound with a balance. So what we're looking for, starting from one leg, we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to hold, find that balance, and reset. Okay? Then we're going to go from the other side. One, two, three. Find that hold and balance. Okay? We're going to go three more each direction here. All right, don't focus necessarily on speed this first round. I want you to focus a little bit more just finding that balance. So if you're kind of finding that balance on the opposite leg each time. There we go. That first one was just tough. But we're finding that rhythm now. We got one more each direction. Find that balance. And reset. Cool. So uh, as we get um, a couple more rounds of this, really focus on driving out of that hip. All right, big push off that leg into that bound. Uh, we'll kind of build on that. Our third and final movement of this set is going to be just like that lateral plank walk, except we'll do it in that primal crawl position. Okay. So I'll shoot from the side a little bit. So those toes are tucked under, those knees are tucked under, same deal. We're stepping right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg. So we're gonna do the same thing, down and back twice. So you should feel those abs get nice and tight. Keeping that square down to the ground. And I like to think about that back like a serving tray. And you've got some water on that tray in a glass. And we want to make sure that we don't spill that glass of water. So we're holding nice and strong through that midsection. And relax. All right. Take a second. We'll stand that up. We'll take a quick break. We're going to move back through these three movements. Whew. All right. Uh, kick throughs, both sides with that hop to stand. We've got five total on this one. All right. So kick through each side and then up to stand. Let's get up. Let's get ready. Two, one, go. Kick through. Kick 
kick through, hop it up to stay as fast or as slow as you're comfortable going on this. Just making sure we're coming back to that base each time we get that kick through. Good extension through that arm, through that leg as we kick through. There's three, we got two more. Big kick. Four, and one last one. Notice I'm pulling that top arm back, squeezing that upper back each time we do that kick through as well. All right, whoo. All right, super hot today. We're gonna get onto that triple bound. So same deal, we're gonna do five each direction. Um, again, focus on a little bit more power. If you wanna take those bounds for a little bit more length, or you can focus on a little bit more height. Uh, otherwise, keep that balance the same, all right? Let's get after it. Three, find that balance, good. Two. So just hitting that balance each time. That's two each direction. And I'm going right from that stable balance to that next side. Just a quick pause in that balance position. There's four, one more each way. Balance wasn't quite there. I had to do a little tap. That's fine. And five. All right. Give me a second to finish up to those. And we've got one more movement to go through. Those lateral primal crawls. Whew. Big breath center herself. Let's get down and get ready. Let's pop it up. Let's go for it. Be in control. This will be our last movement for today. So I really want to focus on staying strong in those arms, being very intentful on that movement, keeping those shoulders, keeping those hips square to the ground. And again, just like those lateral plank walks, it's going to be small steps. Feel those quads burning. We're almost there. One more length to walk back. Finish the last three steps. And relax. All right, that's gonna do it today, folks. Appreciate you hanging out, working through some full body blasts, a lot of different ways to move the body today. Some lateral movement, some explosive movement, certainly some cardiovascular movement. In there as well. All right, still up high. So give yourself a moment, work to recover.